Hey everybody, we are gonna talk about isometric holds today. These are fantastic exercises, we're gonna give you a couple. Uh, but just remember, with all of our other videos, these are just tips and they're drills that we like to do. You need to actually program them correctly to see that added benefit. So that's what we're here for, that's what our programs are here for, that's what our expertise is here for. Just remember, all the exercises, including these ISO holds, are meant to be programmed specifically for whatever phase you're in, whatever time of season you're in. They have benefits, but they're tough to measure when you don't have a plan. So remember, it all comes back to that journey and that process. So these are great, put them in, ask what they're for, see what the benefits are. Everything's got a purpose, you gotta remember that. All right, so our first exercise here is just a simple A march. We take pride in the fact that we teach speed drills correctly at our gym across the board among every single sport. We see a lot of added benefit in doing speed drills correctly, regardless if you're coming from hockey, lacrosse, basketball, volleyball, track and field, football, all of these sports need to be able to do these drills correctly because they have a ton of benefit, not just running fast, that is a side product of it, but they have a lot of added benefit. So you might not think of an A march as an ISO hold, but when you stay on the toes or the forefront of your foot and actually squeeze at the top and feel that glute start to contract and hold it there, you're starting to work on that balance, that control, that activation. So all you gotta do is come up, remember proper arm mechanics, squeeze at the top, hold, come down. Squeeze at the top, hold, come down. Squeeze at the top, hold, come down. Remember to drive that forefoot through the floor. We want to feel that solid ground contact, that nice foot contact. We're feeling that glute start to engage in the back. We're keeping our core nice and solid. We like to consider this an isometric hold because we're actually squeezing and making sure that our body is nice and solid at the top and making sure that we're actually staying in that nice position. Another one of our favorites is a lunge hold. So all we're gonna do is get down into a lunge position, making sure that our back foot is heel elevated, just the toes on the ground. Our back knee is just a couple inches behind our front foot. And a lot of our weight is going on that front leg. So that back foot's almost just a balance point and we're really trying to isolate the force going through our front leg while keeping a nice neutral spine. We're not rounding, we're not holding our hands on our thighs. And generally what we like to do after this, we'll hold it for 30 to 40 seconds. And then what we like to do is a couple lunge jumps, single leg lunge jumps out of it to get a little bit more of a training effect. But you can see that uh, as you go into our programs a little bit more. So all you're gonna do, get down in this position. You can see that my front foot is just slightly ahead of my back knee. I'm nice and tall, I'm keeping everything engaged and I'm driving through this front leg. So generally we hold this for 30 to 40 seconds and then we come out of it with a couple nice little lunge jumps to get that added benefit to it. All right, another one of our favorites, a front plank. This is an isometric hold. This is something we, we do almost daily with a lot of our athletes and a lot of our students who come through the training center. I know you've seen it, but we're just gonna go through that technique a little bit more. So remember, as we do this, we're driving our forearms into the ground. We're separating those scaps on the back a little bit, and we're actually staying nice and neutral. Everything's engaged from our core to our glutes, all the way down. We're trying to get that nice line. What we try to tell our athletes is to not put their hands together, try to keep them apart. Really hold that, squeeze that glute, squeeze those abs. Hold that, it has a ton of added benefits to it. We love it, you'll love it too. Another one we like to do is a bit of a dry phase hold. This really helps with foot strength. We can't stress that enough with a lot of our athletes, but it has to be done correctly and you have to actually be squeezing and forcing things into the ground and making sure your posture is correct. So what I'm gonna do, start in a little quarter squat position with a front lean, I'm pressing into the wall. I'm actually gonna raise one foot, bring it back, so then a lot of my weight is on that forefoot. So I'm not just letting it rest though, I'm actively pushing that foot into the ground. There's a difference between holding this 
and having it feel like a stretch and actually holding this and pressing into the floor where you can feel those muscles working and that forefront or forefoot start to actually do it. So here, lift up, good position. I'm pressing into the wall and I'm pressing through the floor. You should really feel your foot coming up onto that big toe joint, your quads will be burning. Really press into that. After you do that for a few seconds, switch legs. Remember, not every iso hold needs to be held for 30, 40, 45, 50 seconds. These can be little bursts of holding and little bursts of driving and then switch. Not everything needs to be for a long time. 